Now we'll look at some of the most basic motors. DC homopolar motors. These circuits are going to be symmetric about the axis of rotation. We're going to place a permanent magnet at the bottom here. And it's going to have magnetic field coming out of it. We're going to stick it on the bottom of some rod. We're going to add a battery. And we're going to connect that battery all the way back down here. So there's going to be a current running through this circuit. If we're holding the wire in place and let this rod spin freely, we can see that there's a magnetic field pointing this way and this way. And there's current going up. So on this side, we have current pointing up and we have magnetic field pointing up and to the right. So there's going to be a force directed that way into the board. On this side, we once again have current pointing up. We have a magnetic field pointing up and to the left. So there's going to be a force pointing out of the board. So the rod is going to want to spin. And since the rod spinning is symmetric, no matter how much it spins, it's always going to be in the exact same configuration. So it'll just keep spinning and spinning and spinning. So in order to decrease the friction, we're going to hang this pointy screw from the battery. It's ferromagnetic, so it actually uses the magnetic field from the magnet to stay hanging. The other advantage is that this thread makes it really obvious when it starts to spin. Now the slightly different way to do this is if we make the rod and the battery the same thing and we have the wire come down on both sides. So once again this magnet on the bottom has a dipole field that goes and spreads and we have current running down this wire with a magnetic field essentially perpendicular to it. So on this side we have current pointing down, magnetic field pointing out. So the force on this wire is going to be out of the board. On this side current is down, magnetic field is that way, so force is going to be into the board. So this wire is going to spin. And since the magnetic field is cylindrically symmetric, no matter how much the wire spins, it's always going to be in this same configuration. So it'll just keep spinning until it loses stability and falls off the battery. Now here's the battery on the magnets. And here's our little rotor. Of course, several configurations can work. Some more pleasant to look at, some more stable. 